Greetings, this is the Instrument Sidekick video for the trombone, page 29, Longer and Longer Rhythms. Page 29, Longer and Longer Rhythms. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, anyway, well, so far we've had short and quick notes, all right? So we've had quarter notes, which if this is the beat, we're all one beat. Ta, 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 ta. And we've had eighth notes, which uh, were two per beat. That's pretty fast. T, 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 T. But what if we want notes to last a long time? What if we want a long, a hold, hold a long note? Ta. Okay, well, we have rhythms for that. Go figure. So we're going to start on the top of the page. In this song called Half Notes Get Two Beats. And you see these little white circles with a stem? Qu quarter notes were qu black circles with a stem, remember? And then these white circles with a stem are half notes. And strangely, the title kind of gives away that half notes get two beats. So remember that half notes get two beats. Okay? They last two beats. They go ta, 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 ta. That's how half notes go. All right. Then down here, you see this white circle without any stems. No stems going up. No stems going down. Left or right. Anywhere. Okay. That baby right there is a whole note because the title tells you the whole note gets four beats. Four beats. Whole notes get four beats. Whole notes get four beats. All right. They last four foot taps. Ta. Ta. All right. And all the while, you still have to remember your key signature, and you have to remember your great big dragons fly around, and all cows eat grass. All right. Then, we have a rhythm and foot test. Go figure. We learned a couple rhythms, and we're going to have a little test about them. Weird. So, we we got to show, you got to show me that you know your whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes, in whatever order you see them in, with all the proper foot tapping, and not letting it mess you up. So, a little foot test right there. Now, over here, you'll notice that there are just single regular bar lines at the end of all these but we learned over here from the first song uh first version of bile them cabbage down right at the very end we learned what a double bar means that you're supposed to end the song well these are missing some things that tell us that we need to end a song so guess what you're gonna write them in oh no the hard work what will you ever do so Right here at the end of the first song, half notes get two beats. Right at the very, very end, you're going to draw a double bar with a pencil. All right. Then at the end of the song called whole notes get four beats. Right over here, you're going to draw a double bar. Whoa. But then in the song called rhythm and foot test, which is a rhythm and foot test that's titled rhythm and foot test. At the end of the first line, don't draw a double bar. I want you to keep going. When you get to the end of this line, keep going to the next line without any pause, like the song isn't done. Because guess what? It's not. It goes to the second line over here, and then at the end of the second line, draw a double bar. That's when you're done. So don't draw a double bar here. Do draw a double bar here. All right? So you have all these songs. I'm going to play them for you, and I'm going to put this video down there so you can see my footwork. Because it's a rhythm and foot test. And that's what you need to be working on, especially, okay, although you still have to be able to read the pitches without writing in what they are. So, uh, here we go. You can see my foot tapping. Awesome. Good. All right. So here is a half notes get two beats. Here we go. One, two, ready, in. <laughs> Now, oh, gotta go in rest position always. Then whole notes get four beats. Here we go. One, two, ready, air. Always a pause, always go to rest position, always put your slide locked and there should be a double bar drawn there now all right now rhythm and foot test which is two lines long so no double bar at the first end of the first line there is a double bar at the end of the second line all right so i unlatch bring this up and here we go one two ready in <laughs> All right, 
so that was the rhythm and foot test. So I'm going to check that because weirdly enough, I am going to give you some playing tests so I can check to see that you are able to play things right. Weird. Teachers are weird, right? All right. Anyway, so have fun with that. Uh, start practicing this page, but don't stop practicing all the other stuff. So now you should still start every practice session, even if you have two minutes in a day. You got to get that mouthpiece out and hold the longest buzz, steadiest pitch, highest and lowest, tonguing a song, and holding a piece of paper against the wall using the force, right? Then, if you have time, play Hot Cross Buns, Married a Little Lamb, Clear to the Loon, Jingle Bells, Good King, West is Lost, Straddle Dreidel, File Them Cabbage Down, and then also practice this pitch. All right, so you got plenty to do, plenty to work on. I want you playing, 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 and having fun. I hope you're having fun doing all this. I certainly am. I will check you at our next lesson, and may the force be with you.